The Slenderman myth began in mid-2009, with his actions and motivations relatively unclear. What we did know, however, was that he stalked and abducted children, caused them to become paranoid and insane, and many were never seen again. On May 31st, 2014, the infamous Slenderman incident occurred in a heavily wooded area in the state of Wisconsin and forced many people to abandon their creative pursuits that documented the legend. Prior to this incident, he had appeared in movies, web series across the internet, and even inspired things like the Enderman in Minecraft. After this tragic news broke though, he wasn't seen in any popular media since then, until now. Haunted Hills always stood out to me. It never seemed to fit in with the rest of the map. The other locations are all innocent representations of towns and cities across the real world. Futuristic skyscrapers, snow-covered cabins, grassy farmsteads, and desert settlements. Haunted Hills, however, is much more creepy and the architecture is far older than anything else on the map. Even the forest to the south is different than the forests everywhere else. It's full of dead trees and exposed soil covers the ground where grass once grew. I found this easter egg while exploring the soccer field in C5. The soccer field is an interesting location because it appears to be a summer recreation center for children. It has a pool, a snack stand, a bus for the kids to arrive in, and most notably, a playground. This is the only place on the map that would have way more kids than adults, so it's no wonder that Slenderman appears in the nearby woods, just as the girls in Wisconsin try to do themselves. Alright, what's going on guys? So I'm going to show you this uh, easter egg that I actually found. Um, I started off uh, by just kind of exploring the soccer field area in C5. Um, it led me to exploring the, the woods to a little bit north of there. And ultimately to Haunted Hills. So if you want, you can follow along. Um, I recommend starting off on this little mountain here. I'll show you right on the map. Um, this is just at the border of C4 to C5. Um, reason being, you can get one of these hoverboards. And it's going to help you a lot with the amount that you have to travel around the map. Um, with that being said, there's a couple things you do need in order to do this. You definitely need a some sort of sniper rifle. It can't be like a scoped AR or a scoped uh, revolver or anything. It's got to be uh, a sniper rifle. Any of the actual snipers will do. Um, again, can't be a hunting rifle. It's got to have that scope. And then you also need some form of explosive. At least one campfire and gliders will help now i am in a playground right now so um i have fall damage turned off because you're going to be doing a lot of navigating up and down different elevations so gliders can help you there as well if you want you can adjust the gravity to make it lower if you think that'll be quicker for me i just have it on normal um, but right now i'm gonna actually go get the things that i need for this easter egg so i can show you guys um and i'm gonna actually jump cut right to there okay so i'll see you guys in about a second okay so here we are in haunted hills the first step um of this easter egg is to go ahead and destroy all of the tombstones inside the graveyard this is the only spot on the map where um there, there's a, an abundance of tombstones um so you have to go ahead and destroy all of them uh what i will say though is do not destroy this statue here this this is something that you need to save for the end of the easter egg so please be careful when you're destroying these tombstones don't go crazy you just want to go ahead and destroy each one uh precisely so your assault rifle is going to help with this a ton because it's very accurate i'm actually going to pick up these grenades while i'm here um there's a lot of these tombstones so you know dev make sure you do uh like a double tape double take around the graveyard to make sure you got all of them um you can use your pickaxe if you want i just find it's a little easier to use uh an assault rifle or some sort of uh you know gun or something like that so this might take me a minute so i might speed this up but i'm just gonna try and aim at each and every one of these um and just make this go as quick as possible and then afterwards i'm gonna actually build up quite high and i'm gonna get like an overview of the entire uh graveyard just so i can make sure i destroyed all of them i know there's one here um
Okay, so I'm pretty sure that that is all of the tombstones inside of Haunted Hills. If you look around, there's none on the hill here. There's none beneath me on the ground. Um, there's none off to either side. So we should be good to go. That should be all of them. I'm going to go ahead and destroy this tree just to be 100% sure that there's none underneath the tree. Okay, cool. Yep, yeah, we should be good. So that's all of the tombstones. Now, to make sure that you actually destroyed all of them, you can run back up to this uh, this sculpture. I guess it's like a bat sculpture or something. I'm not really sure what to call this thing. Um, but you can run up to it with your pickaxe out and hold square on the when you're facing this right in front of it. And if you destroyed all of the tombstones, you're going to hear um, a really weird noise that's going to play. So just go ahead and listen real close while I do this. Yeah, super weird. So um, that confirms that we have destroyed all of the tombstones. So what I'm going to do next... Um, is destroy all of the caskets so this is really interesting um, if you go around this part of the map you're going to see um, a lot of these these are like uh, uh, caskets filled with I don't know what's inside um, but it's clear to me that these were actually dug up these used to be in the ground and you can tell that that's the case because they're very rotted They're the paint is chipping off of the edges um, so these used to be inside the ground which is really really creepy so i don't know what is in here i guess people uh, i don't know um so you're gonna have to go ahead and destroy every single one of these with your pickaxe um and every time that you destroy one you're going to hear a noise and you're gonna see a little bit of distortion on the screen now if i remember correctly i believe there are 15 of these caskets um i i, I tried to keep track there might be 16 i'm not sure exactly um but if you guys know the exact number comment down below so i'm gonna go ahead and destroy these with my pickaxe like i said you're gonna hear a noise i i'm not really sure what to make of this part of the of the easter egg um if i were to guess then i would say that maybe the the like the people who were abducted by Slenderman or were you know uh, like his victims essentially um were inside of these specific uh caskets so by destroying them maybe you're like uh releasing their spirit or something i i really have no idea again this this easter egg i'm not sure how nobody found it before this um haunted hills was introduced i believe in season two so it's been around for a long time um but the specific order of this easter egg is really weird um and it doesn't really surprise me that nobody has found it um thus thus far because like i said it's really why i mean why would you go ahead and do all these things randomly um i just kind of was inspired because i knew about slender man since his inception i think i discovered him actually around 2010 which was a little bit after he first was you know a thing um so yeah you know every time you destroy one you're gonna see that that distortion you're gonna hear that noise it's really kind of creepy um and I don't know if this works like in an in, in actual game, like in an actual game. I've only ever done this in playgrounds because it requires uh, a lot of time and attention. And, you know, I think you'd probably be well within the storm at the, at the point of which you would actually get to finish the Easter egg. So I'm just kind of running around going into every single one of these buildings. I think I checked here already. Um, <clears throat> go into all these buildings just to make sure that you don't miss any of the caskets or the coffins, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think you I, there might be one in here. I just I don't know how to I don't remember how to get in here Let me just break this down real quick. Um, there's nothing in here. Okay, just making sure uh, So we've almost cleared through the graveyard now the interesting part is um, After you've destroyed all of the caskets in the graveyard um, There's even more of these like uh, dug up coffins on the castle on the hill right up there um, and that's really weird, too, because if you think about it, you know, if these were dug up from the graveyard, somebody had to bring them up to the castle. Um, and for what reason? I don't know. I'm not really sure. It's, it's very odd. Um, but regardless, there's not coffins just in the graveyard. There are some up on top of that hill in the uh, semi-destroyed castle as well. Um, and that castle is actually a big part of... Here we go. Here's I knew there was more. Um, uh, it's actually a big part of the Easter egg happens in that castle. That's kind of where it all uh, goes down. So, you know, this is all... We're kind of just like laying the groundwork for this Easter egg. I'm pretty sure I got all of the coffins in uh, this graveyard. Let me just double check this room here as well as um, the main room in here because I know there's... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some in there as well. I think this is the first, yeah, this was the first one that I did right there with that little pile of wood because I have max wood. 
Um, so I think these are the last few in the graveyard. So there's one, and here's another, and this one. I think that's it for the graveyard coffins. I think I got all of them. Again, it, you know, if this doesn't work, then we'll know for sure. So at this point, I'm going to actually go ahead and go up to the top of the castle. Um, I'm going to get out my grappler. The grappler definitely helps a lot here. If you still have your um, hoverboard, obviously that will work. Also, you can just build right up to the castle. For now, let's just go ahead and see. I don't think there's any caskets um, here or any coffins here, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I don't think there's any over here either. I just want to make sure uh, that I don't, I don't miss these because like I said, I'm pretty sure there's like 15, anywhere from like 14 to 16 of these. So, you know, there's quite a lot. I am actually gonna destroy this just to be sure that I don't uh, interfere with my lines of sight later on. And that, again, that'll be it. You'll see why that's important later. Um, so let me just go ahead up to the castle. We're gonna go all the way up to the top here. Now there's one here, obviously. Um, so I wonder if I can make this jump. Oh, well, I destroyed it that way. Okay, that's weird. That counts though, so that's cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy that one. There's a couple in this place, so just keep your eyes peeled, like I said. I've only done this Easter egg, I believe, twice. The the time I discovered it, and then I got into a party with one of my friends. Seriously, I gotta make this jump. Um, I got into a party with one of my friends to show him and he was completely freaked out So I wanted to just go ahead and uh, make a video because like I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to find this and um, I wanted to bring it to you guys I know there's one over here now again This one was in a cart so you can see that these used to be in the ground We've already established that much It's obvious by looking at them that they used to be in the ground and also it's in the back of this cart Which means that this was brought up from the graveyard to the castle super weird super super weird um, So let's destroy that one. I think that's it as far as the coffins go. I don't believe that there are any more um, in Haunted Hills at all now if you look this is another one of those statues that we saw over in the graveyard and again that's going to play a big part of the of the easter eggs to so do not destroy it do not light this campfire either you need that later so again maybe it's best if you watch this video all the way through and then go ahead and try it on your own i'm going to check in here just to make sure there's no coffins nope there's none there okay so i'm pretty sure we got them all we already checked down there um, so we should be good to go now the next part of the Easter egg is destroying all of the campfires and I think this has something to do with um, Slenderman coming out at nighttime. Maybe that's when he's um, You know, maybe that's when he like seeks his prey. I'm not really sure um, So just go ahead and destroy all the torches here because the next step is actually gonna require that it be nighttime um, so hopefully I can do this quickly because it looks like nighttime is soon um, So make sure that you get all of them. So there's no light inside this castle when we uh, go ahead and do the next step of the of the Easter egg Again, it has to be nighttime and it has to have no torches at all inside the castle So let's destroy this one. We're gonna destroy this one as well I'm pretty sure there's some on one of the sides of the castle not here. Maybe on the other side just have to double check Oh, I know there's at least one up there. Um, any on the sides of the castle? Yeah, this is the side that has it. I knew that. Uh, I'm gonna open up this chest because uh, this part of the map, that right where this, right where this uh, uh, dirt was, is gonna be important for later in the in the in the Easter egg. But that's about it. So there's no more camp uh, there's no more flames or torches anywhere in the map um, so I'm actually going to wait now until nighttime because the next part of the Easter egg and really the last part of the Easter egg has to be done during the night so that's what we're gonna do now so we're just gonna wait and I'm gonna jump cut to when it is nighttime um, so we can proceed with the next step okay so it's almost nighttime in the game and I just wanted to take this time to explain the next step of the Easter egg it's really really simple as I mentioned before it does involve this specific campfire that's already part of the castle um, what's really weird to know is that you know uh, Slenderman was known for one of the tropes of Slenderman right one of his uh, signature ways of you know 
of messing people and scaring with people is random fires, right? Um, there's some of the earliest known um, pictures or stories of the Slenderman myth involve um, him lighting fires, spontaneous random fires starting. Um, I'm gonna, I should put a picture somewhere around here of of him, uh, you know, retrieved from a library after there was a big fire. So, you know, Slenderman and, and, and random arson, random acts of arson have been linked. And I think that that is why these campfires, this one and the one that we place ourselves, have something to do with this Easter egg. And again, uh, I, I'm not super, you know, sure as to what, like, I don't really understand the the full lengths and the full connection between this is easter egg and slenderman all i know are the steps and how i randomly came about this while playing throughout the game so i'm trying to piece it together in my head trying to make it make sense uh, but if you guys have any more information or if you've done this uh, and found more things out maybe this is like the first step of the easter egg i've only gotten this far i don't know there could be more after this i have no idea um but yeah i just wanted to explain that real quick um you'll know it's nighttime it's starting to be nighttime because the sun will turn into this purplish glow um, and you'll actually start to hear the crickets that come out at night um, so just wait for it to be completely dark outside um, and then we should be good to go all right and the moon is finally rising up on the horizon so it is fully nighttime now this next part has to be done pretty quickly um, so what I'm gonna say is make sure that your sniper is reloaded and that you're ready to go um, now, you know, you do have a little bit of time to do it, so it's not super, super, super hard to do. Um, just go ahead and light this fire, and what we're going to do is we're going to destroy both this bat statue right here, as well as the bat statue right down there um, at the same, not at the same time, but while this campfire is still lit, we do have to destroy both bat statues. Now, when you destroy each statue, you're going to see some heavy distortion, uh, even heavier than before. And you're also going to hear um, a, a noise. It's, it's hard to explain. It's like a creepy, like some eerie noise that happens. Um, so just listen for that. And that's how you'll know if, if you hear that, that you're doing this Easter egg correctly. So without further ado, standing right here gives me a really good, I want to get a good view of this one because this one's the hardest one. And this is why you need a sniper, by the way. Um, so you can do both of these. So, okay. So I'm going to start with that one. Um, so I'm going to light the campfire. And we're going to destroy both and then just watch out for the destroy distortion and listen for the noise. Okay. So we're going to light it up now and I'm going to quickly shoot this one and it takes one shot and then we have to quickly reload and make sure that we can destroy the next one while we're still standing in the campfire. So let's shoot that and we have to reload again. So this is where it gets to be a little bit difficult. You have to make sure you land these shots. There it goes. Okay. So it, it randomly just despawned. Um, I think I hit it with that first bullet. Um, and it just the game didn't register that it was destroyed until a couple seconds later that probably has something to do with the render distance because i'm so far away from that actual statue but regardless um once you hit it it should only take one bullet with the heavy sniper um they i don't know how much health they have but it's really really little all it should take is one shot and with that being said guys we can jump into some of the final steps here of this easter egg so now we have to come down here to where we just destroyed that bat statue and we have to place down a campfire right about where it was so let's go through here uh, we're gonna go ahead and place down our campfire um, you can't place it on the ground here so what you have to do is you have to actually build um, a little platform right where the right where the statue was you know how it was right in the center here right so we built ourselves a little platform so I'm gonna go ahead and place down the campfire right here and while that's burning we actually are gonna go back up to the castle so we have to essentially what we're doing is we're replacing that statue I'm assuming it has some sort of link to Slenderman it may be cursed or something I have no idea again I, I found this Easter egg I'm not sure what it means exactly um, so we're gonna go back up to the castle um, at this point I actually can build because we no longer need this line of sight okay so now we can come back up to the top of the castle now that we've placed down the campfire um, we can come back up here and what we can do is we're gonna go into the throne room which is the center room here right now we've got a ammo box on top so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna search and destroy that ammo box because uh, I don't know I sometimes that might affect this I'm not really sure I just want to play it safe now what we're gonna do is take out our grenades and this is where we're going to need to throw them at the throne we have to destroy the throne with the grenades and when you finally see it explode you're gonna notice the game is gonna fade to black and the colors are going to change so let's throw a couple let's make sure it, oh 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 my god so Okay, so we the, the color is just completely changed. It faded to black. Super weird. Um, now everything is all set in place. I think the color changed 
for the game because Slenderman spawned. I don't actually know what causes that trigger. Um, so now that it is, it is everything is set up so we can actually view Slenderman. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the top, the tallest part of the castle, and we're gonna stand right in this corner. Remember, I said before the dirt that that's this corner is super super important. Now this part is where we're gonna actually get to view Slenderman, and again, um, he spawns somewhere in these in these woods. I would say turn your compass to 194 and that's going to give you the best view of slender man make sure you're all the way up in the corner um, if you look here i'm right up against that corner so go up against the corner switch the compass to 194 and then we're going to aim down the sights of our sniper rifle and we're going to be able to see him on the map which is super super crazy so i'm going to zoom in in three two one and bam there he is right in the center of those trees off in the distance it's super super creepy and if you wait here for a few more seconds Oh my god, holy shit, Jesus, that is so, oh my god, dude, talk about free, that's Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video. It really, really helps support my channel. Comment down below telling me what you think about this Easter egg. Do you think it's really creepy? Do you think it's weird? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this topic. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.